I'm going to show you how to make the flower puff stitch from the Kelborn Woolens Year of Hats April hat. Um, I have a swatch here from when I was working out the design, um, but you can see here this is the sort of puffs that we'll be working, and there's two that happen on either side of a row of twisted stitches. These are worked by knitting one through the back loop, and they're topped off by a bobble. But first we need to work these two funny puff stitches. And to do that, you will need a crochet hook. So the first thing we're gonna do is knit the left slanting puff, and you wanna do that two stitches before the twisted stitch made by the knit one through the back loop. So I'm gonna knit until I'm two stitches before, and you can place a marker before each one of these if that helps you sort of remember uh, when they're coming up. Um, you're gonna work this by putting your crochet hook in three rows down from the row you're on. Um, and to count the rows, I like to count these running threads or bars between the two stitches. So this is one, this is the row I worked previously, two, the row previous to that, and three, the row previous to that. So put your hook in under the row three bar, wrap the yarn around, keep it loose across the back, and pull a loop through that's about half inch to three quarters of an inch long. You want it to be loose enough that it just lays across the fabric without, you know, bunching it up and isn't so loose that it is like too floppy. Then I'm gonna go over the row three bar, make a loop and pull that through, making it the same length. Now I have two loops on my crochet hook. Then I'm gonna go under the row three bar again, pull another loop through, and now I have three loops. I'm gonna put all three of those loops on the left-hand needle and knit them together. Now I'm gonna knit two until I get to my twisted stitch, knit one, through the back loop. And now I'm gonna knit these two so that I'm two past the row of twisted stitches. One, two. Now, to end up in the same place under the third row here, because I've just knit these two, I now have to count four rows down. So one, two, three, four, right in there. Pull a loop through, over, pull a loop through, under, pull a loop through. I have three loops on my needle. Put them on my left hand needle and knit them together. Any tension adjustments that you need to make with your loops you wanna do before you knit them together because it's really hard to do afterwards. And voila, puff stitch right, puff stitch left. Now I'm back to the beginning of my round. And now, oops. I need to decrease away these stitches that I added. When I knit these puffs together, I added a stitch. So for every repeat of this, you now have two additional stitches on this round. So we're gonna decrease them away. Knit one and I'm gonna to knit together this stitch that I made with the one next to it. Knit two. Now I'm at my twisted stitch and I'm gonna make my bobble. I'm gonna knit one in the front and one in the back and one in the front and one in the back. So I've made four stitches out of one. Slip them back onto the left-hand needle, bring the yarn forward and purl all four together. Knit two. Now I'm gonna decrease my left slanting puff away by doing a slip, slip, knit. And there you have it. The stitch is really cute. It's a little bit tricky and definitely takes a little bit of practice. So I recommend swatching it and trying it a few times so that you kind of get the rhythm of it um, before you jump right into the hat. Um, I definitely 
did jump right into this stitch and my first round looked really terrible and then I ended up taking the whole thing out and doing it over again. So don't be like me and practice first. I hope you guys enjoy the April hat. Thanks.